a delegation from the CBCI, the Catholic Bishops Conference of India, went to violence hit Manipur. It was the first CBCI official team to visit Manipur since the communal violence between the Kukis and the Metis erupted on the 3rd of May. The delegation that was led by Bishop Andrew Starath, the CBCI president, also included Father Jervis de Souza, the Deputy Secretary General, and Father Paul Mujeli, Executive Director of Caritas India. The visit comes days after the video of the horrific ordeal of the two Christian women from Manipur surfaced on the internet. It is alleged that when the incident took place, the police who were present took no action. The video had triggered national outrage, prompting Prime Minister Narendra Modi to speak about the violence in Manipur for the first time. Mr. Modi broke his silence after the video went viral and called it shameful. The CBCI delegation said, we are equally worried about the prolonged silence and apathy of the law enforcement agencies in containing the violence. We had the opportunity to visit some of the schools and hostels wherein we could see the anxieties and distress of the children, clearly leaving us with no answers at this point in time. The uncertainty is writ large on their faces. These children are not going to go to school in the near future. Let us spare a thought for them as we send our children to school today. The delegation distributed relief materials. Caritas India has responded to this unprecedented crisis and provided assistance in collaboration with the CRS, the Catholic Relief Services and the Diocesan Social Service Society, the social arm of Imphal Archdiocese. The papal charity has also provided relief assistance worth close to 366,000 US dollars. The church in India has responded to the Manipur crisis by way of prayer, organizing peace rallies and mobilizing resources to support the affected people as called for by the CBCI. The rallies and silent protests were organized in dioceses across the nation. In the protest march in the national capital, New Delhi, hundreds of women from various associations participated. Archbishop Anil Kuto of Delhi led the rally. As Bishop Lumon said recently, I was shocked at the destruction and devastation that had been inflicted there. I was utterly shocked. Hundreds of houses have been burned to ashes. The whole place looked a deserted, the whole place had a deserted look because people have been driven. We invite you to pray for these thousands of displaced people who don't even know if they will ever see their homes again.